Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Here is second lecture of structural chemistry. This is lecture come tutorial. So in in this tutorial you will learn that um, how to draw chemical structure using this software. In our previous video lecture we have discussed that what is ChemDraw software and what are its different features. Now we will discuss uh, we will learn to draw chemical structure using this software. Outline of my this video lecture is aromatic molecules. You will learn to draw aliphatic molecules, enantiomers or chiral molecules, and then you will also learn how to how to write the reactions and some other features of the some other features of the chem draw. First of all, aromatic molecules. So uh, I will go to the start menu and then we'll find chem draw here. It is opened. Now, if you want to uh, draw aromatic molecules, we have these structures given. This is cyclopentene ring, cyclopentadiene ring, this is benzene ring. You will click over here and just click over here. So the benzene ring is drawn on this screen. In order to select it, just click here. This is selected. First of all, go to the object, apply object settings from ACS documents and, and then apply it. So whole document will be of this format. This is a standard format which you can use in your presentation as well as in thesis. If you want to add some substituent like here I will click single bond and bring my cursor to this one and if it is it gets highlighted then click here. So here you have gotten a single bond. You can also write over here double bond, write this one, double bond, again single bond. If I write over here acetophenone, here I can add the substituent. I can add the, uh, uh, you can say the, uh, and uh, other element other than carbon. Here if I want to add carbon, uh, oxygen, then there are two ways. First, you just add over here oxygen and type over here O. This is a simple way and here you can also write uh, CH3, a substituent. This is very simple and this is the aromatic molecules. So uh, aromatic molecules, the, how this is drawn. You can also write over here the, like benzene. If you want to add some other benzene like this, highlight this single bond so that it gets this one and so on. So if you want to, uh, uh, you want to draw do, um, some other structures, you have also templates. In this template section, you will see that there are different templates available. Go for here, hold it and then click any one, right? And then click here. So you will get this type of structure and you will add any substituent as I have mentioned in this case. So this is very simple. Similarly, in other features here, you can write the names of these molecules like this one. If you want to name this compound, you will uh, use, uh, you will select it and just go to the structure menu, convert structure to name. This is acetophenone. You can also find out its NMR, predicts proton NMR. So it has been predicted. Each peak is given with a proton. Here is the NMR spectrum of acetophenone. And here is methyl. And if you, if you uh, bring your cursor here, you will see that this bond is uh, also highlighted. It's uh, 2.55 um, here and the proton there. So if you uh, highlight over here, 
this one it is also get highlighted so uh, this is very simple way to um, predict proton nmr Sim simply you can also predict this proton nmr uh, c13 nmr by clicking structure menu in structure menu predict 13 c nmr so it is predicted uh, for the aromatic molecules, uh, you can also draw this structure as I mentioned and you can predict proton NMR, C13 NMR and give name uh, to the compound like this. If you want to color any substituent, just click over here. This is selected. Then go to the color menu. You can change any color like this. If you want to change color of this one like this. So this is changed. So here you can write it in this way. Now, now we will discuss if you want to um, save it, just go for control S, save it. You can also save it from file menu. Here you can save it as save as or save. Save, if you control S it, then it is saved in the same format means dot cdx format which means that if you want to uh, if you have saved your file in chem draw if you want to save it in tiff image or any image format you can change it from this like this we have different menu tiff format this is tiff format this is image format and uh, standard image format Sim similarly png format jpeg format gif format so you can save it in any format if you want then by you by selecting save as option from file menu now i will discuss aliphatic molecules you for aliphatic molecules you can draw a different aliphatic uh, chain by using this chain menu here i have click here and then click here here you have to add number of atoms for example if i want to add 12 then the 12 carbon are there if you want to add some multiple bond like this c double bond o and here you can write over here o just you can type it or either you can type it or there is another possibility that if you want to add any uh, molecule uh, any atom uh, you can use uh, here uh, from the from the object menu i think view menu show periodic table window right so here you can add oxygen nitrogen sulfur phosphorus whatever you want so yahan pe oxygen ko click kare aur yahan pe then you get this one so it means that oxygen is selected now from this object menu change uh, uh, sorry from view menu from uh, chemical uh, from periodic table window uh, just go and click carbon so that next if you uh, want to add carbon it is okay now if you want to uh, know it's uh, chn or know its uh, fragmentation pattern first of all fragmentation pattern then click on this fragmentation menu here if you want here fragmentation this one here is possibility this one so these fragments are shown here and it shows that fragmentation pattern is just like this this gives you some idea about them mass fragmentation pattern now if you want to change it again then go for the control z key undo ho jata hai aap isko undo is tarike se bhi kar sakte hain yahan pe undo typing undo one is tarah uh, agar aap iska uh, is structure ke bare mein chn analysis karna chahte hain then select it by mark tool and then go for the analysis window show analysis window so this is shown you can paste it here this is pasted this shows the molecular formula 
exact molecular mass, molecular weight, and M by E value as well as CH analysis, percentage of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Same way, you can use this tool analysis window for aromatic uh, molecules also. Okay, now uh, if you want to add uh, some other screen, just go for control N. New screen will be uh, there. If you want to save something, then go to the file menu. And now I will uh, write some chiral molecules. Like if you if you have uh, such type of compounds like this, just uh, like this, then you can add over here another single bond. Instead of this single bond, you just select, select this one uh, wedge shaped and this one as this one. So you can also check this structure if you want to add some substituents over here, like this one CH3 and here uh, click over here. This is for the alphabet. So I have clicked here and then clicked here. So if it is OH and it is H and if it is uh, C O O H. So it is a chiral molecule with the four different uh, atoms. I have selected it. And then uh, you can also go for the check of the structure so that it can be checked. So check this structure. Yes, no error found. You can also go for the clinum structure. So it has aligned it. If you want to see it on the different aspects, so you can use perspective. So it is used. So it is selected. And uh, this is one of the enantiomer. Uh, so you can uh, draw this enantiomer by using these tools given over here. Similarly, if you want to add reactions, like if, you, if I have given one of the reaction is uh, this one, uh, bromination of benzene <clears throat> or uh, you can say uh, nitration of benzene. I will click over here benzene. Here benzene is selected. Then I will go for the reaction arrow. Here are different arrows. I will hold it and then uh, I can select any one of this. Uh, like uh, it is selected like this. Okay, this is arrow and uh, just align it and then uh, if you want to add here formula you can write over here the formula um, like HNO3 this is uh, if you want to add over here H2SO4 nitrating mixture just select 4 go to the text and style and then subscript. So here, select it, go to the style and subscript. Again, select text, style and subscript. So this is an iterating mixture. If you want to add benzene on other side, okay, it is somewhat near. So just select it and hold it so that it is aligned. So if you want to add over here nitrobenzene, so here it is selected, and you will add over here NO2. So this is what how you will get the reaction, and you will you can write the reactions are uh, various reactions. You can also write the mechanism by using different arrows like this. this these are for retrosynthesis, and these are arrows for the mechanism. These are single headed arrow and these are for the reversible reaction, these three. And these three are for the canonical form. Each and everything can be drawn in this ChemDraw software. So this is the end of the lecture.